And Charlie, I noticed this one has a gold line. Right, right. Uh, you you asked me why? Yeah. Huh? Uh-huh. Why? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> old codgers like me are getting where I can't see good. I need oh, it. Really? <laughs> I need the help. Uh -huh. Now, I've, I've used gold line quite a bit. I've been toying with it for the last two or three years, experimenting with it. Mm -hmm. Now, normally, fishermen won't use a gold fluorescent line or, or a yellow line because it sights them out up here, mm -hmm. you know? They don't have any confidence in it. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I've, been, I've always been the same way. Mm -hmm. So, but I find out that really, I've worked with it and experimented with it by using gold line and using the clear. This is high visibility uh, clear line here. Mm -hmm. uh, really, I can't tell any difference in my fish catch. I catch just as many bass on the gold line as they do the clear line. Mm -hmm. Uh, they hit it just as quick. Now, sometimes, up until recently, it psyched me out. So what I'd do, <coughs> I'd put a clear leader on the thing. I see. And I'd run the leader about the length of the rod, down to about, the, not be about the reel down here. Mm -hmm. Well, that separated, that, that separated the bait mm -hmm. by, say, four or five feet, you know. Mm -hmm. So that, that made me happy. But I found out, by golly, by just tying the, the bait on there that I, do this as well. So, goal line is just super if, in, for seeing it. It's real mm -hmm. easy to see. And, you know, that's a big advantage. You need to be a line watcher mm -hmm. in slider type fishing and, and, and light tackle fishing. You need to watch your line and know what it's doing. And a line like this is just so much easier to see. Mm 